Ipo is like a melting pot of cultures. I noticed already there's Hindu temples here, there's Buddhist temples, there are mosques. It's like everything mixed together. Well, that's like kind of Malaysia thing, right? And yeah, I also need some coffee and I hear there's white coffee here, some kind of typical Malaysian white coffee. So I want to try that because I didn't have coffee yet and I'm a bit of a coffee addict. So yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so I found this place on Google where apparently they have the white coffee. So I'm definitely going to try that and it's right here. Hey. Oh, and they have some custard pudding as well. Oh, I love that. Let's see where I can get my coffee here. I see most people getting coffee here and some toast. Uh, what else do they have? Hello, sir. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, do you sell the... Uh, here? Okay. Yeah. Do you sell the Malaysia white coffee here? White coffee? And what else do you have? Um, like, what is the typical breakfast here? Toast, bread and egg. Toast, bread and egg? Okay, uh, can I have one portion, please? One set and one set each, huh? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Coffee, you want hot or cold? Uh, hot, please, hot. Okay, have a seat. Uh, I pay now or later? No, no, you sit down first. Okay, thank you, thank you. Coffee! Oh, he's, he's yelling out coffee! <laughs> I need to find a spot to sit down, though. I think I can sit here. Yeah, it's very crowded here. I didn't expect that. I thought it was like a hidden spot, but it doesn't seem very hidden. Uh, not sure if it's mostly local people or is it like all around. You can see, well, I guess it's a bit of tourist, a bit of local people, a little bit of everything, but it's... It's a very uh, authentic place, I would say. It's kind of the coffee place I imagined uh, Malaysia to have a little bit. Like the authentic ones here in the old town, it feels really... There's really an old town vibe here. Oh, and that Costco pudding looks really nice as well. Maybe I'll go for that later. It's a white coffee, I guess. I'm really not sure what it, what it means, white coffee. I think it's with condensed milk or something. Let me just figure it out. It looks uh, like a normal coffee, honestly. Um, but let me stir it a bit and give it a try, of course. This is supposed to be the Malaysia white coffee. Mm. It tastes very strong, that's for sure. And it's not too hot, I like that. I don't like when people serve coffee super hot or tea. It's supposed to be drinkable when you get it. And this is one of those. It's actually very delicious, but I, I don't know what um, what makes it Malaysian white coffee. I thought it was with condensed milk and stuff, but it's not super sweet, this one. So, but it tastes nice, actually. It tastes really nice. It's kind of a brewed coffee mixed with maybe a little bit of milk. Not too sure, because it's not completely black, but uh, overall it's delicious. Wow. Yeah, I, I like it, I like it. So in total, 760. Ring it, ring it, not dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, funny lady here. I can pay in dollars. Where's my money? I'm so confused with this money here. How much is this? Yeah, you, you take it for me. Yeah, you take it. I'm not, I'm not used to Malaysia money yet. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> She's helping me because I'm uh, lost, lost with this money here. I don't know the colors and everything. I'm just throwing my money around all the time. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh yeah, she can keep it actually. But yeah, okay. So, so we have the toast already. I think there's jam on it. Yeah, there's jam on it, and there's also an egg coming, a boiled egg. Okay, let, let's let's try the toast already. In that box. Okay. I feel like I need to dip it. Should should I dip it in the in the coffee? Up to you. What do you do? You don't dip it? Just normal. Okay. Ah, wait for the egg. I'll do already one bite of this. Ah, bite egg, bite this. Bite now, crispy. Crispy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, she said I need to eat it right now because it's still crispy. I don't know what kind of jam it is, but it's delicious, but I will dip it anyway. She might hate me now. I think she didn't see it. 
Ooh. I like it. But I, I'm a dipper, you know? I usually dip my stuff in my coffee. Mm. Yeah. She's busy there, so she didn't spot me. Oh, yeah. It's really good. With the coffee taste, wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, two boiled eggs even. Two, two boiled eggs. Two eggs? Two eggs, no? It's two eggs. Okay, okay, okay. What is this? Soy? Soy, soy, soy sauce. Soy and this pepper. pepper. Okay, okay. Just break and break. Okay. Wait, I will break it. <laughs> Just break, she said. So, that's what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't know I would get two boiled eggs. Wait, wait, wait. I need to re rearrange the table a bit here. Okay, I'll set up my camera because I need two hands for this. Okay. Oh, it's a soft boiled egg actually. Oh yeah, okay, I got it now. I need to use a spoon for that. Fuck, I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> I broke it the wrong way. How am I going to manage this? Like this? Yeah, I did it bad. How do you do it? Are you, oh, you do it like this? Anish. Oh, thank you for helping me. <laughs> oh, that's how you do it. Oh, and then you scoop it. Oh, okay, I didn't realize. I was going to be look, looking like a total fool and she helped me out. <laughs> it's good, it's good. So we have this, the soft boiled eggs here on the plate now. Oh, now I got it. Wait, wait. Extend my arm a bit. And now we're get ready to get it. Okay. So first, sip from the coffee. Now we'll try that egg. I will add some, uh, some sauce, a little bit, just a little bit to try it out. An egg like this, honestly, never ever. It's completely soft boiled. Add some pepper. Oh, oh shit! That was way too much. Pepper. Okay, that will be a peppery one. But let's see. Too much pepper. She said, I have the toast with jam, I dip it in the half boiled egg. Yeah, I can work with it. It's pretty good. Am I still recording? Yeah, I am. I'll do, I go for the triple combo. Dip it in the coffee with the, yam, the jam and a little bit in the egg. Let's see how that goes. Fuck, that is much. Oh wow, but it's really good actually. I'm trying all kinds of weird combinations here, but it's very delicious. I have my I like my eggs hard boiled but this is like a new experience for me. Not too bad. I must say I really appreciate this uh, this is combo. Never had it before, but it's really delicious. It feels a bit weird though to eat an egg like this, soft boiled, but it works, it works. It's almost like a soup, like an egg soup. Try the more of this. Wow, oh, that was a bit too much. Very salty. We know. Very delicious, very good. Where are you from? Oh, from Belgium. You are from Belgium? Yes. How many people work here? Very little. Less than five. Less than five? Yeah. Whoa. 
less than five people work here, he said, but it looks like a big operation. Look, the kitchen is here. Look how they're working their asses off. Very busy, very busy. Oh, so I have some ice cubes. Restaurant is full all the time. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Wow. I didn't expect this. I found a space on Google and uh, I thought this would be really quiet. Uh, a quiet place but it was not it was like super busy there like people were waiting in line for the next table for a table to be available uh, the waiters were running around it's um yeah very busy place oh and the name wait I'll, sh I'll show you the name because uh, I forgot to mention the name actually I should uh, promote this place a little bit I, I don't think I don't think it needs promotion but I'll, I'll show the name anyway wait so the name of this place is Kedai Kopi Sin Yun Lung Teapot And it's like the old town is there, Concubine Lane is there And here is this place, so yeah Okay, we go to the next place now, let's go So we have made it to the Ipo Riverfront It looks like a park a beautiful decorated park actually you can see there in the background as well there's like a wall with some pillars well it's not really a wall but it looks very beautiful uh, I don't know if you can see it there's also a playground for kids like local people just hanging around here Wow it's really nice place and there's a lot of trees so you can have some shade on a hot sunny days like today today is a hot day but it's not super sunny but uh, I'll sit down here for a minute as well just relax a bit figure out my next moves uh, and my next move will probably be the mosque. There's like a mosque right behind the park here uh, So that will probably be where I'm going next But yeah, look at this. There's also a fountain, but I think it's not working right now Look there another man just chilling hanging out Some people just walking around there other local people reading newspapers having some lunch This is the life man. This is the life Previously, I was working with my sister in Johor Bahru. So she just uh, fell down sick and had a heart attack and just passed away just now. Around something like 9 a.m., something like that. I already went to religious office and quite of this mosque here to ask some help. Because Where's the mosque? Where's the mosque? There's the mosque here. Oh, this is the mosque here? There's Behind? Ah, uh, this one. After the river here. Oh, there's the mosque. Oh, that's where I'm going actually. Yeah, I'm going there. Uh -huh. yeah. So I already went to the that mosque also and the state mosque. It was the biggest one lah in this stage. So because I'm just I joined during your work just um, roughly around three weeks ago, mm -hmm. and yet my salary will be coming by 21st or 22nd, and I need to get to Johor Bahru as soon as possible because my sister funeral, as as you know, Muslim won't keep for too long. So mm -hmm. by today night, by nine something like that, they will bury her, oh. and I don't have enough money to get the ticket from Jalan Bedahara to Sri Maju. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I don't know you personally. I cannot just help someone that I don't know. You know, I cannot do that. In actual way, I just need some 35 ringgits only in order because I already no, have some no, with no. me. I don't even have that much cash on me. Yeah, I'm very sorry. Hey man, thank you. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know if that man was honest or not. I felt like he, he mentioned that story a few too many times. It was too studied what he said. So I think he might, he might have been a scammer. Um, I don't want to judge anyone. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But I know that uh, if you're a traveler, you run into these kind of people every time every day not not every day like every week let's say so i need to be very cautious about that um yeah i don't know if it was a true story or not i could have helped him honestly i have that cash on me right now but i just don't feel like handing out to a stranger that kind of money and also his story doesn't seem like it seemed a bit too perfect you know his story so i don't know but i see him walking there now he's going actually to the mosque so i guess he's going to ask for money there so if he actually asks for money, maybe I'll, I'll give it to him because I'm going to that mosque as well right now. So let's see, I'll go to that mosque and if I see him again, maybe I'll give, it, give him the money. Let's see. Pan Lima Quinta Mosque. That's where I'm heading next. And you can see the bridge leading there. It's very beautiful there. On each corner, there's like a tower 
Also the beautiful light posts. Wow, it's, it's gorgeous there. You can see it better on the other side with the colored stained glass and everything. It's beautiful. They really uh, went the extra mile. I like it, I like it. Yeah, in general, um, Ipoh is a very beautiful town. Uh, well, it's not a town, it's a city, honestly, but it feels like a town almost. Because uh, there's no skyscrapers, well, may maybe there are a few, but it's not like in KL or something. Not like in Penang, from what I hear. So it's, uh, it has a small town vibe, but it's a city. It's almost, uh, I think, 800,000 people live here. So it's kind of a city, but uh, still it has a small town vibe. Like here, where I just was in the waterfront, people are just relaxing, hanging out. Then here I'm crossing a river on a beautiful bridge. It feels, uh, it feels nice, it feels nice. I lo I, I'm loving the vibes here so far. Look, the water is pretty wild. Also the color of the water is not too clear, but that's because it rained recently probably. But uh, yeah, I, I, when I see water, I always get happy. <laughs> I don't know why, like when I see a waterfall, a river, an ocean, it always feels nice. So now I need to figure out where the mosque is. I think it's somewhere that way somewhere there and we have some more murals here because that's what Ipoh is known for as well for the murals oh, I think that's the mosque yeah yeah that's definitely the mosque there wow wow look at that with the white and blue it's beautiful okay let's go let's go look at this I love Ipoh maybe I should try try to get a thumbnail here hello 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 <laughs> police also let me try to get a thumbnail here this okay not sure if I will use that for the thumbnail who knows but uh, we move on we move on we keep moving to the mosque oh the police is going to the mosque as well okay so this is the wow it's a gorgeous mosque it's beautiful Let's see if I can go in it actually because uh, if it's prayer time I will not be allowed in So let me see if it's allowed or not So there's like a tourist reception here uh, What can I see? Salama Datang Is it here? It's locked Hmm Where should I go? Let me see how to know Oh there's food and everything here Oh, you can have food here. There's a restaurant here, I think. Uh, let me see. Hi. Do you know where? Do you know if the reception is open? Yeah. Uh, office. It's closed. Closed. Uh, Wing Bay already. Sorry. Wing Bay already. Sorry. Wing Bay already. Ah, gone. Oh, it's too late. Too late. Oh. It's after 12, maybe it's not open. Or oh, let me see. Oh, maybe it's closed already. Let me see. Yeah, because it seems like it's closed. Well, it says we are open. <laughs> we are open, and it says welcome. But it's not open. Is there someone here? No, there's nobody here. Well, you know what? I'll just walk in. I'm not going to go all the way in, but just a little bit outside here. Just have a few shots, see and admire the beauty. Wow, it's really beautiful, the mosque. I like the, the white and the blue um, that you can't see right now, but there's a blue roof there. Wow. I think I'm allowed to walk here. That's not an issue. And oh, they're cleaning here there's maybe this is like the old mosque or something and this is the newer structure oh here you can see the blue roof wow that's beautiful the white and blue color it's a perfect combination I like that yeah there's another sign tourist reception but <laughs> I can't go so I think I won't go in I just uh, will admire from the outside I know the beauty the real beauty is on the inside like with people you know but uh, yeah I can't go inside right now, so I'll just get a nice shot from here. Wow, look at this, it's gorgeous. 1898, so that's like uh, 125 years old, wow. Sick. Beautiful mosque. So I'm not too sure what this building is, but it's definitely a part of the mosque because it's also surrounded by the walls. 
um, maybe that's where the imam stays or something or it's like a school um, I know often around mosques there are like a school to learn Arabic and everything so maybe this is part of the school uh, I'm just guessing you know I have no idea because I know there are tours that you can take here but the office is closed and there's another oh this is a cemetery yeah I'm not going to go too close to that I don't want to be disrespectful you know but there's definitely a cemetery there inside I think the people buried there must be very special because they're even covered like a cemetery that is covered with a roof you don't see that often so definitely important people okay so one last glimpse of the mosque here and then I'll move yeah so here on this sign you can see the visiting hours and it's Thursday today which means at noon it's closed and at 2, 2 p.m. it opens again and now it's 12 so yeah it's definitely um, yeah I'm late I'm too late I'm actually not much too late like 20 minutes earlier I would have been able to visit but it's all good it's all good we go to the next destination so yesterday when I arrived here in Ipo I noticed that there was like a Chinese style temple here it's called the Guanying temple and I'm here right now I'm not entirely sure if it's possible to visit it look they have the incense burning here it's like a lot of incense wow it smells so strong I never saw this like this it's like all everything is incense here everything um, I'll, I'll see if I can go inside I'm not sure really I see some people there but I don't know what uh, if it's visible uh, visitable for, for for tourists let's see hello hi is it possible to visit the temple Posi uh, yeah. Pos it possible to visit yes ah, oh, okay okay thank you I can go inside oh thank you I can see oh wait yeah I'll take my shoes off okay let's see wow it's a beautiful temple right dear devotees our temple offers service as below oh they have lots of stuff here Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this, all the lampoons or something. Honestly, I've never been in a Chinese temple. It's very different than any temple I saw. You have all the butter lamps here. Big ones even. You can do big ones as well. But especially here, this is beautiful. Okay, let me go inside. Let's see what I can see here. It's for first time ever in a... In a, I think it's a Buddhist temple, Chinese Buddhist temple. Should I get my head off? Yeah, maybe I should take my head off. Oh, they sell food here as well? Oh, no, what is this? Oil. Oh, for the oil lamps, maybe. They have beautiful decoration everywhere. Lots of butter lamps, incense. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is the oil. This is the oil lamp. Oh, this is very different than anything I ever saw. I'm not sure about the names of the gods and everything. Maybe I can ask someone outside. And they're also preparing some stuff here, let me see. They have a big AC here, that's very welcome for me. Some decoration, not sure what this is. It's kind of some kind of paper. Hello? What what is this? Yeah. Are you there? Oh no English? Oh, <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm just curious. This looks like some kind of paper. Oh, we need a translator? Yeah, yeah. I think we need a translator. Let me look around in the meanwhile. Wow, lots of gold. I don't know who this is. Which god is this? Hi, hello. Yeah, I'm, it's my first time ever in, in, in this kind of temple. 
Do you have some information? Oh, where are you from? Uh, from Belgium. Oh, Belgium. Yeah, this is a Buddhist temple, right? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chinese Buddhist temple. Ah, uh, yes, correct. Oh, okay. So, what is this actually? Uh, just paper. What is it? Just. Just, just paper. paper. Uh, yeah. What do you use it for? Offering for to our uh, Buddhist To the God, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, how does it work? Uh, normally, we uh, just uh, fire it. Ah, you burn it. You burn, burn it. it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow. And what's the name of the the god there? The main god. We call Wan Ying Bodhisawa. Wan Ying. Wait. Let's. Ah, let's Wan Ying. Wan Ying. Oh, so the main god is Wan Ying. Ah, ah, Wan Ying. Oh, okay. Ah, so this temple already 145 years since 1878. Oh, oh yeah, since 1878. Wow. Ah. Yeah. This is the main uh, Buddhist temple here in Ipoh, or? Uh, consider yeah. one of them. Yeah. Uh, oh, there are mu mu multiple. Actually, there are, uh, another one is somewhere older than us. Older even? Yeah, oh, that one okay. is 150 years. Oh, it's ah. a little bit, just a little bit older. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, yeah, it's the first time I've been in many temples in my life, but never in a Chinese Buddhist temple. Oh, okay. you can hang around. Yeah, I'll, I'll look a bit around. Yeah, yeah, What's sure. your name? Uh, my name is Bish Chong. Bish Chong. Uh, my, I'm Tim. Tim, Tim. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Okay, I'll look around. Okay, Thank sure, you. Sure, sure. Oh, lovely people. A uh, little bit of information because I literally know nothing about this. So oh, I'm just looking around. Oh, she called it just paper, and this is the just stick. So I guess it's something similar. It's a lot of that kind of paper here, and they burn it. And these are all the gods. Wow. There's some more oil lamps. We have some oranges here. Uh, I guess it's also an offering for the gods. And that's also some kind of pineapple structure here wow and here also another god i guess maybe i should uh gift some i will gift some money for the for the good fortune but let me find uh, my money how much should i give hmm. let me see wait i'm making a mess here all my money is everywhere i guess that's not good luck Throwing around money here. That's, that's what happens when you vlog and, and try to pay someone. How much is this? Five ringgit. I'll, I'll give five ringgit. I don't know if that's enough or not, but may your wish come true with good luck and wealth. Okay, I want that. Oh, wait, I need to. I can get something for this. Uh, Fortune gold or I'm two. One set. I think it's this one. I'll, I'll just get one set for five ringgit. I think this is one set. So I need to buy this. I don't know what I need to do with this. I'll ask the lady, but I also see that they have um, Guinness here. So uh, the gods also love the beer, I guess, which is nice. Okay. I think we saw, saw the temple pretty much now. And uh, I bought some of this thing, gold paper. I don't know what to do with it, but maybe I'll ask the lady. See if there's someone here. Hi. So, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> they have some other candles here as well. Some incense. Well, I saw this already. I'm just curious what I need to do with this paper. Yeah, so lottery number and best wishes, and the other is like an envelope. Oh no, it's like a little hat or something. Like this. Uh, oh, and you burn it. Open it. Uh, after you open it all, then you can burn it. Oh, okay. So you just stand it here and burn it. Oh no, uh, here, here, here. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, so you burn it there. And put inside. Okay, okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, can I try one? Can, can, can. So how does it work? Just like this? Uh, light yes. it? Ah, uh, you light it. Here? Mm, can. Then I put it here. Okay. Okay, it's burning. That's for good fortune also? Ah, uh, yes, correct. Good fortune, okay. Uh, it's my first time doing all this. Uh, so I need to burn all of them. I don't need, you can just. Ah, I put, put it put here. Yeah, yeah, together, together. So for more good fortune, even. Oh, thank you. Even more good fortune. Okay, more good fortune. <laughs> how many pieces? I think total is 10. 10? Oh, wow. Look how many. Wow. 
<laughs> okay. Even more. Thank you. Wow. It's hot. Yeah, it's getting hot. <laughs> yes. Okay. And the last one. Okay. Too. Okay. One more. So I can uh, play with the lottery now and w <laughs> maybe I will win, maybe I will win. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you ever win? I never buy any bad lottery. Oh, you don't win? Oh, yeah, no, no. no. Uh, you just buy the... Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you very okay, much. Thank you, bye-bye. Nice, nice, nice to meet you too. Okay, I have some lottery numbers. Let's see if I can win. Yeah, this is a temple from the outside. Hello. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, and they have. Oh, this is the where I was burning the lucky things. It's like a kind of oven or something. The temple from the outside, 145 years old. Yeah, 145 years old, and I have some lucky lottery numbers. Maybe I should gift it to someone, or maybe that's bad luck to gift it to someone. I, I will open it to see. I want to see what is inside. Let's see. They have lottery numbers inside. It's like a printed ticket. Oh, lucky number 2303. May prosperous fortune fall upon you. Wow, maybe I should play the lottery actually with these four numbers. May I might do it, I might do it. Okay, but uh, this was it for the temple. Uh, my first, ex first ever experience in a Chinese Buddhist temple. So I'm, I was kind of excited because it's all new for me. But now we will move to the old town. Now. Let's take a look at the river first. There's uh, the Kinta River here next to us. I guess that's the thing also with temples, they usually build them next, next to the river. Look, there's like a sign here also, I'm not sure what it means, but this is the Kinta River. I saw some people, oh look, they're fishing there, yeah. Yesterday I saw them as well, fishing there. It's not the cleanest, I would say, but that's, yeah, maybe from uh, floodings and stuff. But it's not too bad overall. And there's like a nice uh, area as well there. Like you can sit next to the river, maybe it's a restaurant or something. Okay, so yeah, now uh, I'm moving to the next place. Hello. Oh, I think she asked for money. For money? Wait, let me see what I have. I'll give one ring it. Oh, they're all beggars? I cannot give everyone here for you. Here. Okay, I cannot give to everyone, you know. <laughs> Oh, they're all beggars or what? I don't get it. They're asking for dollars, but I don't have dollars. Oh, why are these people here? They're all begging. I thought this only one lady was ha showing her hand, but then everybody sh started showing their hands. Okay, uh, I don't know what the, the culture is here. Maybe it's the culture that you give some money to the old people or something. I don't really know. Uh, maybe next time I will know when I ask a local. This is another view on the temple. You can see there with the dragons on top and everything. It's very beautiful. You can see there the railway station and there in the gold. You can see the Hindu temple. That's where I'm going. So I was there at the railway station, which is like probably a two minute walk. But just because probably I'm not allowed to cross the rails, I have to go all the way around. But uh, while going around here, I see that there's beautiful nature. I didn't even realize it. I mean, I kind of knew that Ipo has a lot of beautiful nature around. But I, d I didn't know it was so nearby. It's literally like walking distance. If I would walk half an hour, I'm in the, in the jungle or in the forest or how you call it. So that's kind of exciting because I'm kind of a nature guy. I spend way too much time in the cities lately. I wish I could go more into nature, but it's always a bit tricky when you're in a new country to go into nature, like, because I like to go by myself, no guides and all that stuff. And uh, if you're in a new country, you have to figure out how to go there, uh, what the rules are, can you hike alone? Uh, it's a bit tricky, you know? So that's why I didn't go yet, but I want to go to the nature, that's for sure. I hope to, to be able to do it here in Malaysia as well. So yeah, I still got a, about a 15 minute walk ahead. And I'm sweating buckets here. <sighs> but let's go, let's go. So we made it to the Hindu temple and it looks brand new almost. Look how it's shimmering in the sun, the gold, all the miniature statues. Uh, I'm not sure dedicated to which god, 
uh, but I might try to figure it out. It looks gorgeous, it looks brand new and they're making a new one there as well. They're still working on it, you can hear the construction going on there. There's another part there, so they're making like, probably this is one god, that's another god. Uh, I'm not sure if I can go in, but uh, look at that detail, wow, it's, it's gorgeous actually, it's gorgeous. You can wash your feet here, your hands or something. You can see it's brand new, look there's even like, yeah, yeah, this temple is brand new. And uh, it's been a while that I was in or around the Hindu temple, so I'm not too sure, uh, it's been a while. <laughs> but they're still constructing it. Oh wow, I'm not sure if I can go in actually, but it looks gorgeous. I will ask. Hello, sir. Is it possible to go in? Can I go in? Okay. For which god is this sample? Which god? Ganesha. 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 And the other temple for another god? Kali. Kali. So Ganesha and Kali. And another one? No. Adiya. Adiya. Anjilaya. Anjilaya. Ah, so three temples. Oh, Hindu. Hindu temple. Okay. Can I look here? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, so they're making tree temples. There's another one there, actually. I didn't see that one yet. Wow, and here we go in. Wow, that color is so bright. Look at this, wow. Impressive, impressive. It's still under construction, but it looks already beautiful. It looks already beautiful. Oh, there's somebody praying here. Oh, you can smell it already. It smells like India, Nepal, <laughs> the incense. Wow, beautiful. I'll just take my shoes off for a minute. With my 100% uh, real Louis Vuitton socks. Hello, sir. Hi. Hi. It's a beautiful temple. Wow. Look at this. It's so colorful. This is Ganesha. Lord Ganesha. So he said Lord Ganesha, Kali, and the other one I don't know. I don't know, I don't see it, but I will try to have a look later. Look at this. Wow. Oh, and it's nice to be in the shade also. I really like the smell here. It reminds me of all my travels, you know, in the past. I traveled so much in uh, South Asia, where most of the culture is Hindu, um, and the incest smell is like very typical. As soon as you arrive in Kathmandu or even in New Delhi, well, Old Delhi probably, you would smell the smell. And it's like, brings back the memories, you know? <laughs> looks really brand new look how much how well preserved it is like well it's not well preserved it's just brand new it's not I shouldn't I shouldn't say well preserved it's it's a brand new building they're still constructing it even do not light oh no okay but this kind of um, lampoons or how you call this I never saw this in the temple before That man, he's wearing the dhoti, traditional Hindu clothing. That one is still in the construction for Kali. How many years the temple? Vinayaka. What, five? How many years old? Five. Five years old. Oh, it's still under construction. This is for Ganesha, Kali, and the other one. Where is the other one? They're making a new one. Andrea. Who? Andrea. Andrea. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they're talking about a third temple, but I don't really see it. It might not be built yet. Maybe, I don't know, it's, it's supposed to be there somewhere. Or maybe I need to walk a bit. Maybe I need to walk a bit further. Oh yeah, I see now. This is the temple they're talking about. It's, it's much smaller. But uh, there's another temple here. Oh yeah, look at this, all the statues. 
I forgot the name of the god. It, it doesn't sound familiar to me, that name of the god. But it looks kind of beautiful. Look at this. Wow. Oh, it smells like fresh paint even here. I'm not going to go all the way in because they're still working there. All right. Wow, this god I never saw. Okay guys, it's pretty hot here. I did almost 8,000 steps actually. So it's time to head back for me, back to the center of Ipo, uh, find some lunch because I didn't have lunch yet. Uh, probably drink about two liters of water, maybe some 100 plus or something because I'm super, super thirsty. You can see the sweat has been dripping off my face for the whole morning already. And it's now, well, two, two o'clock. So uh, it's time to head back.